All right, so we finished our VersaTube carport. I got my Jeep inside here. Let's see how much room's behind it. Probably about four feet, five feet. I've got about maybe two feet on either side. Um, lots, lots of headroom. There was like, this thing's about six feet tall. Maybe barely six feet tall, and then our peak up here. Um, we decided to make doors for, for it's enclosed, three side enclosed. We made these doors, um, just two by four frame, some heavy duty hinges. We use the regular screws to put it in. But we ended up making it out of the extra metal. They include quite a bit of metal with your kit to protect the panels they give you. And uh, we were able to take that extra metal. There is this. And that's how we made these doors. It's completely out of extra metal you're just supposed to throw away. So we had tweaking to be done today. Yeah, the doors aren't perfect. We just <laughs> forget it. But the top panel is actually color match because it was an extra panel. I'm not sure why we didn't need it. I think they just, we ended up making our cuts really good and didn't need it, but I had an extra 10 foot uh, panel. And then the bottom is literally just packing panel. So either they're not the right color, they're white, but it actually kind of looks like a nice dual tone. Um, but walk around back here, we've got it all put together. Turned out pretty good. I'm pretty happy with the quality of materials. It was a lot harder to build than I thought it was gonna be. The frame was super easy. We had the frame together in what, like an hour? Yeah, it was so easy. We were then like, oh, the rest of it's gonna be easy. Yeah, <laughs> not so much. The These panels weigh like, I don't know, 30 pounds. And you have to hoist them all the way up there. And then you have to hold them steady. Then you have to drill. Um, and the self-tapping screws are worthless. Well, the self-tapping screws are really good, but you it takes a lot of force to drill through this thick frame and you have to push really hard. And the screws themselves are not super, the hex part isn't super deep, so your socket will wanna slip and then you smash your finger with the drill or whatever. So if you're gonna put one of these together, your life will be 10 times easier if you get yourself the right size bit and start pre-drilling your holes because you can put as much force as you want on a drill bit um, and it's not gonna fall off. I mean, you could snap it, but I think we snapped one drill bit and doing the whole thing, so. Just, you know, it really made it faster. It was so much faster, you know, and then the self tappers will like just barely make two turns and start threading or whatever. So definitely get yourself a drill bit or a couple drill bits. Um, try not to do it and definitely don't do it in the wind. <laughs> Tell them about the metal cutter you bought. Oh, it's yes. We got a uh, guy put it out here a metal shear. You have to make some cuts and we got a metal shear cutter and it is the coolest most useful tool I yeah this guy I'll probably it's like 40 bucks here this guy I'll put a link in the the description but definitely get yourself one of these you're gonna need it because the peak has to be cut by you and then the bottom panel has to be cut all the way around and then obviously our custom made doors had a lot of cuts <laughs> involved but no i mean the the quality of the materials is pretty high with this thing i mean I, I think it could withstand a storm basically i mean you could probably walk on the roof if you wanted obviously this door still has need some work but it was about completely made out of spare parts so i'm pretty happy with it um we still gotta put our lock in place and stuff but yeah so far we're pretty happy the only thing other thing we got to do is we've got our trim piece they gave you a little piece of vinyl to put around here because these are super sharp. I've already he cut his head on that a few times. I've got a Harry Potter scratch on my forehead now because of the sitting the same corner and twice. And wear thick protective gloves when you're moving the metal. Yeah. Jared got really hurt from that. And also cut my hand because the tie straps they send the panels in um, are metal and I sliced my hand and they give you a lot of extra metal. Like obviously these doors are completely out of extra metal. I've got a whole bunch of extra metal here in all different colors. Um, yeah, it, it's pretty, it's pretty good. I would say, if you were to buy a carport from this company, you would be very pleased. 
if you buy one of these three-sided carports uh yeah i mean it is what it is it i'm pretty happy with I think it they'll be pleased it's just hard to build and they probably want a partner yeah and my i don't think my skill level is quite the best and my partner was busy a lot of the time so me <laughs> working <laughs> so i mean it, yeah you, it better if you could have like three people a nice two days to do it medium weather you definitely wouldn't want any kind of wind you'd probably hurt yourself we didn't have any wind thankfully um some nice ladders we had one eight foot ladder which is just enough and uh if you had a couple ladders it would really really be nice but no i mean it's pretty pretty good i definitely would recommend the company um the only complaint to have about the actual company is the shipping companies they did a really nice job but they told us they're like yeah we'll deliver the sheet metal uh and they what they're like oh we'll call call you between two hours before delivery and then delivery was supposed to be between noon and 6 p.m and they called me at 10 30 in the morning and said we're here to we're here at your house it's like okay well and that happened with both shipping companies they're both separate companies so that part was kind of frustrating but i mean they did it they delivered it it turned out good so all, all we're happy but um any questions just go ahead and comment i was a little you know interested in trying this out and didn't know how it was going to go the only thing i could go off of is that home depot stocks uh versa two carports i figured they're probably a pretty good company but we had, we haven't really dealt with them because i haven't had any problems so um thanks for watching and yeah any questions just go ahead and comment them down and i'll answer them for you